Where are you from? Louisiana. Louis Louisiana. Wow. <laughs> what do you think of Ireland? Great. Cool. <laughs> nice and cool. Yeah, and west too. <laughs> no, I think we've most of the time here. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome you here, ladies and gentlemen, Kate Mila Fulcher. My name is Ambrose Joyce. I'd like to tell you about our Connemara novel. We quarry this marvel here in the mountains of Connemara in the far west of the country. And we get it in a number of colours. It's the green that's popular and that's in most demand. It comes in shades from light green to dark green. We have two marble quarries, a green and a white. And there are some photographs there of our green quarry, which is situated at Little Noosh near Clifton. I'd like to show you some of the different colours that we get in our marble quarries. This is the light green, and that's the polished face of it. From the same quarry, we get the dark green marble, again the polished face. Geologists tell us it's copper that's in the marble that gives it the green colour, copper oxide. Also in the quarry we get a marble we call sepia, silver sepia. And in the sepia we get interesting patterns like this next level. We also have a black marble quarry. This black marble quarry is situated near Galway City. And we call it the Shell Black or the Shelly Black because it's full of shells and fossils. And that's a polished slab of it there that you're looking at. Geologists tell us that the black marble was mud at one time down on the shoreline of Galway Bay. And that during the ice age, the mud was compressed and hardened was formed into marble, and that's how all the shells and fossils got embedded into it. And they tell us about the markings on the fossils that this here is coral. These are shells, oyster shells, cockle shells. We even get fish bones in it from time to time. Another example of a fish bone, and often when we're quarrying the marble or sawing it into slabs, complete oyster shell with drop out. They tell us about the age of these marbles, the black Galway marble. They tell us that it's around <coughs> 200 million years old. And the green Connemara marble is much older. It's around 600 million years. It's from the Precambrian period. That's what all of the geological reports tell us. <laughs> We call this the red rose model, very similar to red jasper, but unfortunately this is no longer available. Quarry that this came from, it's closed, it's almost worked out. And this dark green, we call it the jewellery model, often referred to as Connemara jade. We use this particular marble to make the jewellery, for the stones, for the brooches, the pendants, the shamrocks and the rings. And this is a sample of our white marble from our white marble quarry near Kylemore Abbey. Mm -hmm. So they are all the different coloured marbles we have here in the mountains of Connemara. Now I should also tell you that this is a hard marble that it's much harder than any of the other marbles. It's known as a pedigree marble. I'm often asked what's Different about the Connemara marble, it's the colours and the hardness of the stone. And it's so hard we can saw it into ten slabs, almost as thin as a sheet of paper. Wow. Right at the back when you'll see the light through And you'll never get two pieces exactly the same. Every piece is different. You will not get it two pieces. Connemara marble is regarded as one of the most authentic Irish products. We have here in Ireland. Now the quarries were first opened commercially around the years 1800-1810. The Connemara marble industry here is one of the oldest industries in the country. 
the Madam was used for many years to decorate public buildings, churches and cathedrals. Mm -hmm. Now we're conserving the supplies, and we're only using it now to make jewellery and gift items. And it's the company here, the family, that owns the marble quarries and the mining rights. And we have been making jewellery and gift items out of the marble for the past 50 or 60 years. And that particular quarry, our Streamstown quarry, all of the marble floor in the cathedral in Goldwich City came out of that quarry and down the last big contract we did with the Connemara marble. Now finally, I have another stone here I'd like to show you. This purple stone, this is amethyst. And we got this also in Connemara. Amethyst is a semi-pressure stone. It's the burnt stone for the month of February and we couldn't polish it into stones for earrings and for rings. That's it in the natural form as it comes out of the ground. It's all handcrafted work. It's all cutting and carving and polishing. In these workshops here, it's all jewellery that we make here. Brooches, earrings, cufflinks, bracelets. There's one of our silver bracelets here with all of the different coloured marbles. The dark green, red rose, light green, black with the fossils, the coral from Galway Bay, and the white, all the coloured marbles of Ireland. And out of the marble quarries near Clifton, that's where we do the heavy cutting and polishing, and all of the products that we make, you would not see Connemara marble anywhere else. Now, if you were, if you were here during working hours, you'd have seen the place in operation. I hope I've given you some idea of how it works. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you for visiting Ireland. Hope you're having a nice time here. Thank you.